certified hypnotherapist and head of Hypnotherapy of the Sun. Welcome to our Hypnotherapy of the Sun YouTube channel. I'm here right now today to share with you some basics of how your spiritual existence is something experienced through meditation. So truly that your existence itself is meditation. Now this YouTube channel is dedicated to the services and teachings provided by Hypnotherapy of the Sun, my brand of hypnotherapy. Just off the title alone, anyone will come here already expecting to learn about hypnotherapy and hypnosis. But as a hypnotherapist and somebody that wants to help people change, transform, heal and empower themselves holistically, I can't just bring services dedicated to just hypnotherapy. How can you use hypnotherapy to bring change, transformation, healing, and empowerment while neglecting the body with healthy foods and disconnecting yourself from your deeper spiritual nature that's so contingent on involving oneself with all of life? So with that said, I can't leave you with just helping your mind. I want to help you holistically. Otherwise, if any level of your being is neglected, then all other levels will be neglected too. Now, what is of spirit? What does spirit engage in to allow its own change, transformation, healing, and empowerment? Or does spirit even need to deal in change, transformation, healing, and empowerment? Please note, you can receive teachings and guidance in my past videos on spirit so that you may know where to look in your own life and your own self for your own spirituality. Now, it may seem odd to hear that your spiritual existence is meditation. Maybe you heard that meditation is a practice, a practice that originated in the East, in the more Indian and Oriental cultures. Or you practice meditation at your local yoga classes. You know, the ones that are everywhere, like McDonald's is everywhere. Remember, to understand yourself as spirit, you must see how you truly, beyond your body and beyond your mind, you truly are of naught. Your body, your mind, they are what we can recognize as something or a thing in general. That which is spirit or spiritual is of nothing or of naught. So in this case, this must mean that meditation itself deals in an experience of nothing. Think of a meditative monk or someone practicing meditation. You may see them in their most common of poses, which involves simply sitting down cross-legged, putting one's hands comfortably in their lap, back straight, head level with the body, eyes closed, and the individual breathing easily in and out of their body. In this practice itself, you can see and feel how this individual is at peace, quiet, silent-minded. They are here and now. They choose to not involve themselves with the thoughts of their mind. And as talked about on this channel, with the mind, all of the mind is of the past. I deeply thank one of my teachers, Dr. Phil Valentine, for bringing this to my attention, as well as many other of his students. The mind is all of the past. So to truly meditate, one wouldn't involve themselves with their thoughts and chattering mind. 
you will simply see someone in the moment, breathing easily, quiet, silent, deeply aware of what's going on now. For your mind is the past, and now is just now. Really, existence, it all happens now. And look at all of what I just said with the qualities of meditation. What does being quiet, silent, and being in the moment have to do with spirituality, meditation, and yes, your existence? They all deal with nothing. You see, your mind is full of things with its memories and language about you. Everything you said and experienced about you becomes a thing about you. And obviously, this body of ours is clearly a thing with its obvious visibility, graspability, and tangibility. This body and mind that you say is who you are, aka your ego, is a thing. As this thing, you experience your own nature and naturally may experience yourself as something separate or somewhat individual from the rest of the world. You look to the tree and clearly you know you as the body and mind are not that tree. It's obvious there's a separation or an experience of you holding your own individual design, aka your ego. Some spiritual teachers may demonize your ego, telling you to destroy it. It's made to be a bad thing to have an ego or to be egotistical. But I won't say that the ego is bad nor good, but simply who you are or something, not what you are as spirit or as no thing. And to recognize spirit, you must learn to dissolve your ego to remember how you truly are of nothing. There's a related teaching from many spiritual teachers one of them being a popular teacher in Western culture known as Jesus Christ, is that you and I must become like children again. Think of the child, or better yet, think of a newborn baby. What's in that individual's mind? Nothing. No memories, no past, and at least, if anything, he or she is formulating one just by living already as it is. But starting out, you and I are simply a blank canvas. Are we not? And truly, we may have forgotten this about ourselves. We may have been getting wrapped up in all the things we have experienced in the past and how our body feels every day. Naturally, it's easy to forget that we were once and always are deep down a blank canvas. We are truly of nothing. And that's why meditation is our spiritual existence. Meditation is our primary experience of living in which there is nothing but pure potential to live any way we want, connected to all, right here, right now, and forevermore. It's wise to practice, but practice is something that must lead to a true realization and remembrance that meditation continues after your practice is done. Meditation is not just a practice, but is our basic experience of life, aside from our mind's chatter and our body feel. And when one meditates, realizing how they are of not, truly, they will then realize as well that they are truly of 
everything. Lots of metaphors and wordplay here, I know. But these metaphors and wordplay are nothing more than the mental platforms for you to jump off and dive into the experience of life. Key word, experience. And be prepared, because in the next videos to come, there will be more metaphors and wordplay, but also we will get into some science and logic and applications of spirit and meditation to practice and experience. In the next videos, I'll discuss what meditating on energy is, what meditating on being is, what is awareness and sensitivity, and finally, how to become more and more conscious of what can be experienced as the truth. And that's truth with a capital T. And if you want more to learn on what meditation and our spirit is about, I suggest watching the other videos on our channel under the Your Spirit playlist. And I'll leave a link for it right over here. Till then, please enjoy what I have on this channel so far, and please like, comment, share, and especially subscribe to our Hypnotherapy of the Sun YouTube channel to keep on learning and growing from the teachings and practices given on this channel. My name is Farzine Mofidi, certified hypnotherapist and head of Hypnotherapy of the Sun. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.